Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my channel everybody. Yes, my throat is very uh, sore from coughing. <coughs> like that. Um, not sick. Uh, Dustin, not Dustin, that's my son. Justice and Hank were sick. Hank's got, I think about one more day. Um, and then he can attend football practice. We just want to make sure he's not contagious and doesn't spread it to anybody. But um, I'm just coughing and I'm not able to use my inhaler because it's raising my blood pressure. So I have an appointment um, in the middle of August here and we'll see <coughs> what we can do about it. So in the meantime, I just cough a lot and uh, cough drops. I need to go get some more soothing throat. Um, cough drops are not like the menthol stuff because I'm not I might sound congested but trust me it is my throat so anyways this is my Wednesday holiday series this is video number 3a because I'm trying to do two cards a fall card and a Christmas holiday themed card on Wednesday um, this is great for me because I'm going to try to do a sample <clears throat> One, and that just gives me more cards that, that'll that go in my stash for uh, me to mail out. It's great. So this is card number 3A, meaning this will be our fall card. And I have a sample. <laughs> yes. So look at how cute this is. And look at my envelope. I think the envelope came out really cute. I hope you guys think so as well. So very simple is as far as designed, um, it's not going to cost anything extra to mail this card as I didn't do any dimensionals. You could, of course, add dimensionals. And I used the Iconic Imagery dies, <clears throat> the stamp set, because I love it so much, and the DSP. It had this little pumpkin one. Now, I chose Cajun Craze, because that's what color these little pumpkins are. And then I found in my Regal DSP paper, now yes, my DSP paper is retired, but there are current paper packs. Um, and in fact, I think in August they're on sale. Um, <clears throat> you can have, I just have, I don't feel like I want to purchase anymore until I use up what I have, or at least use up most of it. <coughs> so let's get started. And we're going to keep this here. My new little notebook, which I need to decorate or do something with. And it just doesn't want to stay open. So we have a white envelope. And you can see I've done prep work. Yes, I did. Prep work is great. So we have a white envelope, a white card base that is... That is not this one. I did not write it down. I guess I'm going to write it. I will write it down afterwards. So let's just move on. Yeah, that was not. I, I even checked before the video started. I was so sure that was it. But guys, I've been up since 3.30. It's like probably um, 5.30. It might be close to 6. Um, <clears throat> nobody is up in this household. It is cloudy and misty outside here in the great Northwest. Um, so anyway, so we have a card base that is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. We have a quarter sheet of cardstock, meaning that it is four and a quarter by five and a half to go over my white card base. That just prevents me from having to put anything on the inside to write on. Now, look, I even did good idea right look what i did so this is three this is a half a piece of the six by six dsp <coughs> and then i took the this large tag die here from the iconic imagery die set and i die cut it out of the center because i'm gonna cover that up anyways now this did i even no this one i have to trim down so we're gonna this is three by five and a half. This one is two and three quarters, and it should be by five, but for some reason it doesn't look like it is. It should be by five. Yeah, see, I just missed one little thing. That's okay. 
all my little strips over there. So we have that. Now you can see I have three leaves, so I only used two. Um, <clears throat> and this, guys, surprisingly enough, this is from the Unbounded Beauty. Let me make sure those dies are exactly that. Unbounded Love dies. And you can't see them, but there are a whole bunch of dies in here. <clears throat> I wonder why the oh, because I put them in backwards. See? So you could have chose this one that has little lines. But this one that I chose had these little, um, tiny little stitching dots, which really go with the iconic imagery die cut. My fingers are all thumbly here. See, it has that little detail there. And so that, I think, is going to pair beautifully with this one. So that's what we're going to use. And we're going to use Grateful. We're going to use the little leaf. And I'm going to show you how I made this. And a little bit of linen thread because I found <coughs> in my drawer a little bit of thread. So we're going to use that as well. Um, we are also going to use this uh, very old Happy Thanksgiving stamp that I got from a girlfriend because I even went through my paper pumpkins and there were some ones that said like, hey, pumpkin. Um, so I went into, I was on my hands and knees in my stamp room looking for some fall things. And I have count your blessings and give thanks. Um... This one is stamping up. Blessings brighten when we count them. Um, that one's from 2007, it says. This is stamping up. I don't know what from exactly. This one she gave me as well. But we're going to use this one. Um, so let's get started. So it's pretty simple. We're just going to... <laughs> uh, this loop bottle. I need to squirt it into one of those little bottles, but I keep thinking, oh no, I'm good. I'm going to be able to get it finished, right? I just keep creating cards and sooner or later this bottle will empty. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to put this onto our card base. Just like that. And then we're just going to put this one in the center. I'm just going to make sure that I have it opening the right way. Maybe. Come on. There we go. I just want to make sure. And you could you could have used that side, but I don't want to. I want the lines because I just like the look of it. And it's just a tiny bit that is um, showing. So we're just going to eyeball that. Set it down. Little birds are happy as happy can be out there right now. <clears throat> Next we have this piece which is two and mm -hmm, two and three quarters by five. And we're going to simply glue this one down as well. This paper seems to me to have a bit of recycled feel to it, which I like. Um, I just, I like it. So maybe I cut it down a little too much, but that's okay. It's going to look fine. Now, look at this. I'm so prepared. I even got the um, <clears throat> tear tape on the back of it. I didn't do the rub down, though. So let's rub it down. Release it. And then we're going to put a little bit of, yikes, the linen thread on it. And the reason why I'm doing it this way is it just saves from having to wrap it all the way around. I thought wrapping it is just a little waste in my opinion. I need to clean those off. And then I just crisscross them. So I'm going to put it on this side and I cross it over to this side. And then we're going to repeat last time. And then I'm going to stick some more tear tape on it. 
just so it's secure. And today I have so many things I have to do today, guys. My garden is producing and I need to get things <clears throat> prepped for canning. But the only time to do anything seems to be like early in the morning. Because otherwise it um, gets way too hot in the afternoon. And then of course there's football. Which Hank has to wait till he's better. We don't need the whole team and everybody else on the field. Which there's, you know, three different actually four. There's the cheerleaders are out on the field practicing at one end. They have the wee little ones <clears throat> who are out there practicing. They have Hank's A and B string. Then they have C string and then they have the next string up. And before they all go on the field, the football players are on the field. That's why we can't get on the field until like 545. Um, I remember those days when my son would be going to practice. I was so happy that he was driving at that time. <coughs> I was like, oh, we're over this. You, you could drive yourself <laughs> to practice and back. So we're just going to put that center-ish, right? And then the fun start happening. Now we're going to stamp. And I need the stamp in this mat. You can see my stamping already. So we're going to stamp on it with the word grateful in Cajun craze. And we're going to be using some sponge daubers to color this in. <clears throat> Oh, yes. All right. So then let me make sure. Yep, I didn't stamp the leaves. So what I did next is um, I want to show you how I did the leaves because it puts ink on these and I don't have to re-ink it. So <coughs> I need a scrap piece of paper because I already made my wee little leaves and I may or may not use all of them. But where is my leaf? That has something on it. We're going to have to clean that off before I use it. So I stamped in Cajun Craze. Because you can die. I did die cut these out. Then what I did is I dipped my sponge dauber. And I added. I didn't want to add too much at first. You can always add ink. But you can't take it away. So then I have to bring in the old, nope, not old olive. That is Mossy Meadow. So Mossy Meadow. And I'm going to bring in some there. And then a little bit of crushed curry. And I do mean like a little bit. That can get really... <clears throat> Anyways, that is how I colored my leaves. Now, for me, I'm going to go back. I can see where this might need a little bit. So I'm just pouncing a little harder to make this Cajun craze a little darker. There we go. And then I die cut it out. And voila, I have it done. So before now... <coughs> I don't want to re-ink these anymore. What I want to do is come in here and I want to add some ink. So I did, starting with the Cajun Craze, I did the two bottom corners and then top middle-ish. Then I came in with Old Olive and this is one's going to be a little different. I got a little too far over there. So we're going to come in with the Old Olive here. And maybe like right here and a little there and then crushed curry for the win bring that just tapping it ever so slightly like so and 
Now I'm going to add a little bit more ink. I want this a little darker. I know, tap it on the ink and tap off the ink. <laughs> All right, and then I went around the edge. Voila, we're all done. And we're not done completely with all of that. We have stamping to do, but we're done with this piece. So now what I did is I offset this a little bit so I had more of these here. And I'm going to put this little bow up like so. And then I have a couple of leaves. So this one. I think goes this way. Yes. Um, and, <laughs> oh yeah, <clears throat> I, I did my crazy hack thingy with, um, paper just because I can. I didn't want to add too much dimension to this. I want to send out a lot of cards. So if I can make them visually interesting without um, a whole lot of dimension and get away with one stamp, I'm going to do it. <clears throat> so I'm just gluing that shut. And the linen thread is so thin that really doesn't um, oh yay glue 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 all right so now I'm gonna put some along here and some along here because this does add a little bit and this helps to bump it up. And the rooster is crowing. Oops. There's the little hangover right there. So now this is going in its rightful spot, which I think is so darn cute. <coughs> mm -mm -mm. And this one is going to go this way. And I'm only putting it like on that half of it because I'm going to tuck the bow up underneath it. And this one's going to go the other direction, just down there at the bottom. glue time to close the bottle and a glue dot would be nice. See what I mean? I just need to pop that up for a second. I have time before the glue sets and then I want my bow right there. Isn't that cute? I think it's sweet. I really do. I like it. I'm happy. So we need to clean this off because it had something on it. Because <clears throat> now we get to stamp some more, everybody. Yes. We are going to stamp the inside. And we are going to stamp. I need a block. <clears throat> we're going to stamp the inside and we're going to stamp the uh, these leaves so that's just an extra leaf so I'm going to stamp the envelope so let's see oh I hope this is not too old of a stamp my friend Miss Jackie gave this to me and we're going to use it so right in the center and I hope that it goes well Let's just see. I mean, I know it's old. Oops. 
please. Oh, yes. I love it. All right. Um, I really did try to look for something in my paper pumpkin, but I just couldn't find anything. <coughs> so next, I did a leaf in the center. I want to do a little bit more <laughs> symmetrical, and I'm going to do this one this way. Do this one this way, and then I'm going to do them upside down like so, and upside down like so. So there are my leaves. Here's the other little stamp. The color, the fill-in color. So <clears throat> the center one, I'm not doing anything, so we're going to stamp off, of course. The center one is going to be the Cajun Craze. And then i got to clean it off because there's only one of these. So we'll have to keep that out. Then we are going to do... Ooh don't want the ink on my sweater mossy meadow we're gonna do next to that one and clean it off again right squeaky squeaky <clears throat> had to hold on to my sleeve stamp off for the crushed curry stamp off again Guys, I am stamping in my jammies today. I just, I am so pleased with that. So I do need to go ahead and stamp the inside of this one. See, that got a little too busy. <clears throat> and then we'll do our envelope. And I think we might use the, um, have to see what I used on this one because I have a stamp in my little thing that says gift thanks. I might put that one. <clears throat> Ta da! Oh, I did stamp grateful on it. So you could do that. But I do have this one that says gift thanks. I'm going to go ahead and use it on the envelope of the other card. with Cajun Craze. So we're going to put, I got to bring it in a bit, in from the side and up from the bottom so that I have room to stamp my leaves. <clears throat> so we're going to do one there and one here and one there. And then back to, now we're going to start with the crushed curry. So crushed curry this time is going to go in the center. And we've got to clean it off each time. And the mossy meadow, which I keep wanting to call it old olive. But we're not done. we got to do the back. So on the back, we can stamp <clears throat> grateful again. And do a few more leaves. Because we can, right? Why? Oh, you guys know why we're going to do it. So we want to do one. Well, <clears throat> we got two stamp there so let's see what we can do and we're just gonna make a whole little row of it okay and this one was mossy meadow so let's start with that one we are gonna put it here and there and at the ends <clears throat> Never happens. It well never fails to happen, I should say. Never fails to happen. It's all right though. It's all good. Cage and craze just for the center. And then we're gonna put the crushed curry right there. And right there. So now I'm going to close these up, guys, 
because my luck, I will drop <coughs> something in them. Then I get to stop this video and write everything down because <laughs> I forgot to do that in the notebook. So here's our card and our envelope. I think it came out great. Don't forget, we can wink Stella. The little leaves, I like how this curls it up, having that bow behind it. It just curls up the very end of the leaf. Really cute. You could dash all the wee little pumpkins with a little bit of sparkle. So I can do the other one off camera, but just a little smidgen. A sparkly sweetness sparkle and shine it's holiday time it will be anyway so there you go so sweet little card I hope you guys like it thank you all for allowing me into your home sharing my love of paper crafting because I would not have this much fun if I was sitting here all by myself <clears throat> because I'm not trust me y'all are here with me in my heart in my soul thank you all so very much and don't forget if you want to be uh, if you want to do the Christmas card exchange, um, contact me at aliceseraphin1969 at gmail.com. Christmas card exchange is not a swap per se. It is an exchange of Christmas cards where I send you a list of people. You tell me how many cards that you can um, send out by December 1st. That's the deadline to mail your Christmas cards. And I give you a list of people. <clears throat> who are also in the exchange. Now I need at least 10 people. I've done this before, like about three years or three, four years ago. And I had a really good turnout and it was really great. Um, but if, if you only want to send out one card, just say, Hey, I just want to send out one card and I'll give you the name of somebody who also just wants to send out a card or you might be part of their five list. Um, but everybody who participates will be getting a card from me um, as well. So thank you all so very much. And please come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye bye for now, everybody.